Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, today, um, I pulled apart my Golf's um, Jobby. Basically, I'm gonna have a look at the cam follower um, on a 1.6 FSI. Um, basically, there's three bolts at the top by the fuel high pressure fuel pump, one at the front, two at the back, um, and yeah. It takes a little bit of um, oomph to break the bead on the first, um, when you first undo the bolts, and then after that, they're easy, and they're basically hand tight and they all pop out and I'm just lying them down on the scuttle um, you can lift it up a little bit but it won't come all the way so I've loosened it so it comes up that's fine um, but I've got there's a pipe that goes on the in air intake manifold thingy um, so I've moved that out the way obviously I should, you can see it clips in here um, at the bottom and on the other side as well but yeah, so I've lifted that out the way. So there's one more bolt that's got the um, metal pipe to it. So I need to remove that. And that gives me that clearance to pull out the, um, the fuel, is it the pump thingy, my Bobby? But yeah, so I pulled it out um, and inside, I'm gonna put my finger in and then pull out the cam follower. The cam follower um, is obviously this thing what I'm pulling out now. Um, yeah, it's a bit fiddly to get out. Um, you gotta do it a couple of times. It keeps slipping down, obviously. There's not much clearance there, which is as you'd expect in the engine. Um, yeah, you can see there, there's minimal wear at the bottom and the top, to, uh, on the top. So the top is where the spring was pushing here, and then on the inside was where the cam was. But basically, that should be similar to what I just showed you here. It should be looking like this. That is sort of usual wear that you'd expect, but there, it's not thinning out to a really thin um, thing. Basically, the problems I was suffering was um, loss of power and the car would cut off. A lot of people on the internet were saying this needs to be replaced, this needs to be replaced, it needs that, it needs that, it needs that. There's so many sensors. Um, but I thought I'd give this a quick check because um, a lot of the people and the experts were saying that is this that needs replacing. I've checked it, mine seemed perfectly fine. So I know it's not this. It's, it's a cheap part. It's about, I think on Amazon you could pick up the part for about £15 just for the cam follower, tap it, or whatever you want to call it. On eBay you can get the full kit for about £40. Uh, it comes with a new rubber gasket, three bolts that you've done and obviously the cam follower so it's not too, not too expensive but obviously it's not what i needed that was that's not what was at fault um but yeah um what you would normally if, if it was at fault you would see it basically the whole bottom would be crumbled through it, was, it would have worn so thin um that the cam would just be spinning on the the spring of the inside and yeah so it would have just broken through that metal and you've got a massive gaping hole in it but yeah i've not got that issue so i thought i'd just share that with you guys so the problems i was having is like i said it was loss of power it was cutting out and overheating after a while um, but yeah, so that's not at fault, but that's a quick check for you at home. You can quickly do at home, check your cam follower. If it is that, it's, a, it's like I just showed you, it's three bolts you pop off and then one at the air intake um, manifold. And then, yeah, that will give you enough space to pull the um, high pressure fuel pump out and then pull out the tap it. And then, yeah, it's, it's genuinely really easy to do, um, do it yourself. And it's obviously just the Allen key that you need. And that's it really. Um, but yeah, so... I hope you guys enjoyed the video if, if it was of any use drop give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments what sort of videos you want to see and then yeah um yeah see you in the next one